Hey guys, small tree monkey stabbing a turtle here, showing you guys a crazy card trick. If you guys love card tricks and you guys love all things magic, make sure to um, do all the things that are on the screen right now. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. So today I'm going to show you guys a very easy card trick, but it's going to make you look like the life of the party, especially when uh, you show it to actual people. So for this, we're actually going to need a table so we're going to need to do a, one of those edgy vlogger transitions right to a, a table oh yeah um here we go i'm so excited whoa talk about production value how did we get here it's almost like i just put a, a little bit of a stoop and got on my knees oh man this isn't a table piggy you're a liar shut shut up shut up so here's a trick we're gonna use a deck of Copac 310s here to illustrate this amazing and wondrous card trick, which is actually, believe it or not, a little bit of a prediction trick because people love prediction tr uh, tricks. People love prediction tricks. So this is a prediction trick. As a matter of fact, we're gonna to need to make a prediction. And I don't know how else to better find a prediction than uh, by using the uh, Benzai spin out move. Uh, so there you go. This is an adequate card to make a prediction. So this is going to be the card, sir, that you're going to hold in your hand. Of course, imagining that there's a spectator here. I'm going to run my thumb down the length of this card. And you could call stop any time you want. So go ahead and do that. The spectator calls stop. And they insert the card there to mark its placement. And here we give the spectator the opportunity to change their mind. Because you see, oh, I might be uh, special there. You see the... Uh, placement of the card is around the middle however what if they want to change their mind so in this case let's say the spectator changes their mind it's totally fine we give them the choice here so we run through they insert the card there and now they're completely satisfied so to show you the prediction for the first time sir it's actually the ace of clubs believe it or not that ace of clubs serves as a prediction card sir because if we look through the deck notice you placed your card next to one card in particular in the deck and that's one card let, let's see what that card is, sir. The Ace of Spades, the mate of the Ace of Clubs. Oh man, that is crazy. How did you do that? And if you think this trick has some sort of weird like Ace ending where all the other Aces come out, that's not the case with this trick. It's literally just they match, uh, they match the mate. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You like that? Yeah, twist. There's a, um, so you wanna know how that's done, eh? Why well, got you here. here? It's very easy, you're doing the Bill Simon prophecy move, a little bit of a setup, and that's it. That's all you have to do for this trick. So it's one of those tricks that you could do anytime, anywhere, and it's very easy to do, but makes you look like you are a superstar, which is exactly the vibe you're trying to go for to make up for the other places in your life where you lack excitement. So here we have a little bit of a setup, a prearrangement, if you would. We have the two black aces on top. You, you see what happens with the civil rights? And then we have the uh, ace of diamonds. And then lastly, the ace of hearts goes on the bottom of the deck. So this is the setup on top of the deck and you're ready to go. So from here, you do any sort of false cut and false shuffle you want. You could do this Frank Thompson false cut. You could do the swing cut false cut you could do um your favorite version of uh five faces of sybil you could do that you could do uh your favorite sort of cardistry move here um i would suggest against it because you're trying to impress the spectators not make them feel sad for you so at this point you're gonna find the top card in whatever way you want and keep it face down a cool way is this benzai's spin out move which looks a little bit like that now it looks like you just cut a card from the middle and it's shot out. However, that card really came from the top of the deck. Oh boy, oh boy, but you had the illusion there. So let's go over that. You're gonna hold the cards in this sort of way. You're gonna break the deck off. So notice this bottom half is going in your right hand. The top half is going in your left hand. However, your sneaky finger is holding onto that top card and projecting it forward. You see what that does? But when you add a little bit of rotation, it looks like that card spun out. 
a very, very nice move to do, but ultimately you could just do this. We need a prediction card. Found it right here. Here it is. Here's the, um, that's all you. So you just need to get the top card and have them hold on to it and insert it anywhere they want into the deck as you riffle down. So you're gonna riffle down, they're gonna insert it anywhere they want. And here you're gonna do the Bill Simon Prophecy move, a move that I've explained no less than about 17,000 times on his channel. So we're gonna spread through to this outjogged card. We're gonna turn our right palm face down and we're gonna use our sneaky thumb to grab that card. Now you see what this does. When we reverse the actions and we turn our palm over, we notice that we're gonna show the ace of clubs. However, we're gonna place everything in the left hand on top of the cards in the right hand. So what this accomplishes is a sneaky hidden cut. All that's happening is we're just revolving this ace of clubs, we're placing this left hand on top, and the spectators should not be aware that a secret sneaky cut took place. Got him. So now, guess what? When we spread and say, look, the ace of clubs is actually a little bit of a prediction card. We're gonna take all the cards above the ace of clubs, which has the ace of hearts on the bottom, and put them here towards the right. Then we're gonna take the ace of clubs and the card directly next to it, which guess what? is the Ace of Spades, boy, this card, and say, look, the Ace of Clubs is a prediction card because you put it next to one card in particular. Then we place this half down here. Guess what? That half has an ace on it, a red ace. So now you could show the Ace of Clubs to match the card that they freely stuck it next to. Man, that's a, that's a trick right there. And if you're doing this for magicians, you could say, oh, I know what you're thinking. This is probably gonna have some sort of weird twist where the aces come out, but that's not the case. It was just a, a trick where the cards match. Nothing fancy here. And all you need to do to produce the aces is turn this half face up. So you're turning the right-handed half face up at the same time that you turn this card face up. That's it, that's all that's happening. So you go, oh, wait a second. You actually did better than that, sir, because you found all uh, four aces. Good job. Great job, Sparky. You're amazing. And that's the simple way of doing this prophecy ace trick. All, the, all you're doing is literally a prophecy uh, move. And that's all that takes place for you to find the four aces and the spectators think that you have some sort of magical powers over the cards. Uh, but we know the secret, you really don't. You just, uh, you're just really lonely and practice card tricks by yourself. So that's the trick, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys perform it, it's fairly easy to do, but it gets all the hot reactions. Uh, I'm gonna go figure out different ways to get um, Miss Mag to notice me. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again.